it was September 17, 2011. Brett McDonald had been racing for five years now. Up until that point, he had not won a race. Brett drives the, the number 25 Toma Meat Market car, owned by his father, Larry. Uh, the night in which we're talking about, uh, what I remember, that whole year we were having problems with uh, heat race setups. Uh, I was not giving Brett the car that he needed to win heat races. He was finishing badly. Uh, but we were able to adjust on the car for the features uh, for the track when the track slipped over. We ran a race before it and had to hurry up and get the car ready for this race. It wasn't too much to do. But had to fuel up and do a couple of tweaks to it and uh, started on the outside pole. Ended up, or, no, I think we actually started on the actual pole and took the lead the first lap and had a pretty good feel for the car. And since we already ran the first feature and kind of found a good line there at the end of the race, so I tried using that line and kept chopping the corners and sliding up. And, and since Brett was highest in in points of drivers who had not yet won, he was able to start on pole. I remember correctly that evening, we started well back in the field, but ended in the top 10 on the uh, feature race. So when I found out that the winner's race, the, the race in which we won, was directly after the feature, I had all the confidence in the world. Uh, the car was set up for the select track, it was ready to go. Uh, I have all the confidence in Brett's driving abilities where I wouldn't be on this team, I wouldn't ask to be part of this team. And then on top of that, when I found out that we were starting in the front row in the pole position, it was money in the bag in my eyes. Uh, talking with Larry McDonald, the owner of the car, while the car was, while the car was running, entering the track, I remember saying to him, it's going to be a race to the first corner. Uh, if we can get to the first corner and get the high line, ain't no one going to touch us. Lo and behold, dropped a green, green flag. Uh, I dropped a hammer. He made it to the first corner, set the car. It just worked out to where we were able to get a pretty good lead going. And then we had a caution and a restart, but took the lead back. Never, well, never lost the lead. And let every single lap, I believe, if I remember right. And then. During the race, we had a caution flag come out late in the race, and the guy that was catching us the whole race, we kind of thought he was going to be able to get up and take the take first on the race. And it's going to be the start. Uh, it was all pretty proud. We worked hard to get there, and there was a lot of work involved by the crew that just took trying to make it better every week. We try to work on put a lot of irons in the car. And just to be thankful for the crew we have, the guys we have, we all get along well. We just work good together and everybody works to make it better. This race team in general, we all complement each other. We all have our strong points, we have our weak points. Uh, the things that I don't know how to do or what time we get, motors, transmissions, fabrication. Another guy, strong on that Larry is or, or Lou Morris, he, he, he's our fabricator and they take care of the things that I can't take care of and I take care of things that they're weaker at so. Everybody's input's valuable. We're in proud of Brett and we won some heat races. It's cool we got to go down to Victory Lane for it and everything and get interviewed and talk to all the sponsors. It's pretty exciting. It was a very nice night. It was, it was, it was a good win. We deserved it. Uh, it was the first night that we got to walk out on Victory Lane, but I can almost guarantee it will not be the last. A company always on.